Oh, y'all. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Okay. Let's start with this pretty blue piece. There's a clasp. Okay, fold over clasp. And these are like Mardi Gras beads, but they're. It's an old style necklace. Really, really long. Really pretty. I like it. The baby blue. I think this is one also. But in green. It's got a nicer clasp. Yeah, it's the same type of thing. That is pretty. Did you see wearing that? Layering it? It's about um, 35 inches, so it would be a good layering piece. That's that one. Oh, these are heavy. Cold. Some kind of stone? No, ceramic. Look at the color, though. The clasp. It's nice. No name. I like this one. You can even wear the clasp in the front, I think. Maybe. <laughs> or off to the side. Like that. Yeah, that would look good. And you still have the hanging parts. Yeah, I think I'd wear it like that. With the clasp on the side. Oh, this. I remember this one. I fixed it. It was broken. It's not easy putting the jump rings on these things. But this is a very pretty necklace. I will go into a wearable lot, too. Puffy heart. Or a gold chain. Nice condition. This little girl charm. This is something. 1997. Hmm. Don't see. I can't tell what the rest is. 1997, something, something, something. It's cute. Is this a, just a bangle? That's nice. I thought it would open as a clamper because it's kind of, looks kind of small to me. Oh no, it fits. Pink-ish. <laughs> it's nice too. Ooh, I like this. Of course, I like things with circles and stuff like that. It's a nice one. In good condition. No maker mark. Bunch of pearls on here and some crystals on a chain mail back. It's in good condition. I can stay in the wearable lots. Oh, this I remember fixing this. It was broken. It, it just needed to be reattached. The leaves right here. I don't know if you guys remember or not. And it has a double chain at the bottom. Very pretty. Yeah, I like that one. I'd wear that. We have a statement piece. With the red necklace stuck to it. <laughs> That's a pretty green. Chain's in good condition, too. 
It's bronze color, but it's in a little more of a gold color. That's pretty. Any maker on here? No. I don't know that those sell. Those kind of necklaces. This is a choker. That's pretty. Something missing there? No. Not missing. It looks different color here. It's just the... Uh, needs a little bit of cleaning, I think. So I'm going to have to keep that out to clean it. Oh, nice bracelet. Heavy. It's got a safety chain on it. No maker mark. It's in good condition. Anybody know any information on any of these things? Let me know. I like this. It's got some discoloration on it, but I think it looks good that way. So we'll keep it in there. That's pretty. Look at all the disc. Little silver disc. Oh, I liked this one because I thought it was different. Reminds me of lace. Lace behind it. That's what it reminds me of. And you got three different colors green, lighter brown, darker brown, or grays and grays, green. It's different. And I like different. I sure do. Oh, it broke off. Gonna fix it real quick. Okay. This one reminds me of coffee beans for some reason. But it's it's a pretty necklace. They're plastic. But they look like coffee beans to me. <laughs> Oh, I like this bracelet. I like white, too. Is there a name on this one? Nope. That was the back side. See if it looks nice on. And if you wanted to just show the clasp, that would be fine, too. Have the clasp on the top. Because it's pretty. I like that one. It goes with everything. Oh, this one's different. It makes a... These stones here are cool. I don't know what kind of rock it is. And then it has this brass piece. These just bang onto it. It has to be a symbol of something, but I have no idea what. If anybody knows what this symbol means, or is it your chakra, let me know. Gold cuff. In good condition. Some more white. Let's look at the white. I doubled it. That's pretty. Oh, hearts. Yeah, that's pretty. We have some red here. Glass. These are glass. That's glass. This is beautiful. Undyed shell. And it looks like it has a maker mark. <laughs> Let's see who made it. Oh, it's Claire's. See? Claire's makes some pretty things. 
Looks like a big sucker. Yummy. <laughs> Let's stay with the red. Look at this one. This one's really long. Let me see. Long red one. Might even look good with that last one. As a layering. Some more red. I don't know if this is real coral. It looks real. It's on sea beads in a toggle clasp. But it looks real. Could clasp be sterling? It's not marked. No, it sticks to the magnet. But that looks like real coral to me. This one has a name tag. New York and Company. If we can get these other pieces off of it. Okay. New York and Company. It's black. It's beautiful. That is a nice... This one has a lobster claw clasp. It's a long one. Some more red. Asymmetrical points. Oh, and it has a key and a red tassel. Interesting. Here is a ring. Stretchy ring. It's in good condition. A lot of times those are worn on the back. This is very pretty. On a chain. I like that. I wouldn't know what to call it, but I like it. This is, uh... I don't know what it is. It's cold. Not st like a stone cold, but it's cold to the touch. These are beautiful. Look at that. I love these beads right here. With the gold and the glass. That's nice. And these gold beads, too. Very pretty. We have a gold toned little girl here. And a silver toned chicken. Rooster. Chicken, I think. Chicken. Oh, there's that color silver I like again. It's kind of dull, but not. It has a bodice on it. An oriental symbol for, it looks like. Love and a lock heart. Does it have a maker? Oh, it says something right there. It says, Oh, it's a, a little shovel. I dig you the most. <laughs> a little shovel charm. And there's also a clover. Hmm. No maker mark. But that's cute. I like the bodice. That, w that reminds me, makes me think that it's uh, Betsy Johnson. But, oops. Yeah, I had to hit it. I was doing so good, too. Thinking, oh, I finally didn't hit the camera. But, nope. <laughs> that one's pretty, too. Plastic beads. Earth tone colors. Very nice. Oh, I like this one. These beads are nice. It's got a chain stuck to it. Okay. Are those pretty beads? They're plastic. It's a pretty long necklace. Here it is, doubled. Yeah, it's really long. Lightweight. This is pretty heavy. Those are plastic beads, but I like how the chain goes through the center of these squares. It's different. Red, white, and blue. That's a good bracelet to wear for 4th of July. Classy. Oh, 
Oh, I love this color blue. There it goes. I couldn't get it to lay flat. That is pretty. Did something fell. Isn't that a pretty blue? Like a Tiffany blue. This is just a large link chain. I don't know what the link's called. Where's the clasp? There has to be a clasp. There's no way that's going to fit over someone's head. Oh, there it is. Large lobster claw clasp. That's a good change. Chain. Very heavy. In good condition. You can hang charms from that. This one with the abalone and the rose. The abalone and the rose. Sounds like a song. We have this. I don't know what these chains are called either. Oh, and a gold number one. Oh, it's backwards. Number one. And a peach arm. Or a pendant. Oh, there's other stuff. Here's another stretch ring. Feels like a rubber stamp. Like you could actually use it as a stamp. Maybe you could. I don't know. And then there's this piece of ceramic. That's in that container. We have a beautiful bracelet. This is from somebody. Joan Rivers. Can you see her name right there? Joan Rivers. So this is a Joan Rivers bangle. It's gorgeous. I have this one. That is pretty. Not silver. <laughs> A wrap bracelet here. Really dark. Looks like red. Or orange. Dark orange. Color. You can't really see it in the camera. But it's orange. And the name on the button is Emerson. Victoria Emerson. Ouch, so I'm guessing that's a collectible or something. I'm guessing these are all bracelets that's in this container. This one is a copper bracelet. It has a face on it. And it has a fold-over clasp, which is stuck at the moment. There it is. I got it. There we go. Copper bracelet. And what else do we have? This is Alex and Ani. I've never seen one like this from them. Oh, this is, uh, Ann Taylor. Very pretty, huh? Has a lock. And then it opens. It's nice. This one is Tiger Eye. Stretchy. I thought I had two Tiger Eye stretchies, but I guess not. This one I like. Oh, this one has a tag on it. Erica Lyons. This is an Erica Lyons bracelet. Never heard of her, but I'm sure you guys have. This one is a Monet. It's pretty. This one is Avon, I believe. Wait, let me see. No. It's Lisner. I thought this was one of the ones my mom gave me. Well, she probably did give it to me, but... I just assumed it was Avon. But it's a listener. I'm gonna close it. Oh, I love this one. 
somebody took old military buttons and made a bracelet out of it. I think it is so beautiful. Go Navy. This looks like another Alex and Ani. Yeah. And this one is... Friend. Flowers on it. Still has a tag. This one... Who is this? Napier. It's an Napier. There's his name. It's pretty too. Here's a smaller person's copper bracelet. <laughs> like a child. Oh, there's another tiger eye. There's a tiger eye chip. And this one is older. But I love the charms on them. These would make good craft pieces. Yeah, I think it would. More flowers. But it has, let's see, it has a tag. Liz Pelagos. SF. San Francisco, I'm guessing. Liz Pelagos. Well, I'm not going to take that apart. It's marked, so. I'm not going to take away marked things. Alright. This one is somebody, too. I think it's Robert Rose. Yeah. Robert Rose. Isn't that a beautiful piece? Look at the color. I don't like the satin ribbon, but... It's on there. <laughs> this one is who? Nobody. This one is a very nice chain. You see how it has the silver and the gold intertwined together? It doesn't test as silver, but it is a beautiful chain. This is cherries on a ball chain. I'm just going to go into a friend mail of mine that I have setting up here. I'm making a friend mail for somebody. She liked cherries. And I thought that was a cute cherry one. This is Mother of Pearl Horse. Carved Horse. My sister doesn't wear jewelry, so, but she would have loved this one. She loves horses. This one is just a, a Mother of Pearl bar. On a box, well, not a box chain. Is that a box chain? Yes, on a box chain. Very pretty. Simple, elegant. This, I'm not sure where it came from or who made it. Well, this is from Sweden. <laughs> but I liked the look of it. Oh, here's a cross with enamel. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen out. Usually when I get enamel crosses like that, they have fallen out. Oh, any marks? No. This is beautiful. I love this one. It's not um, cloisonne or anything, but it has a Box clasp. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Yep. But they're just gorgeous. They're painted. You can't feel any raised marks or anything, but it's just a very beautiful, heavy ceramic piece. I'll keep that one in a baggie. This, I think, is beautiful, too. The colors, the style of it. It's like a coral color. I think it's very nice. Oops, I dropped it. Sorry about that. 
It's a beautiful piece. And this, I am not sure. These are shells, but it looks like something was taken off of here. Or this is just made that way so that you just wear the shells. It's really, really heavy. They're huge. I guess huge puka shells. Oversized puka shells. <laughs> I don't know. But it's different. Okay. There's this plastic piece. It's different. I think it's an older piece. Oh, it needs to have the... I'm jumping back. I mean, the clasp I've got going. I can fix that. Easy peasy. Here is a really cute yellow bangle with the rhinestones in it. A white bangle. Hmm. No seams. I wonder if it's... See, this I thought could be baked light. I haven't tested it yet. I have WD-40. I'm going to do that test because I don't know. I don't have the other stuff. But I think this could be baked light. What do you guys think? Let me know. Because I found some pieces that look like this. That they said were baked light. And it's heavy. This is some kind of a stone... But I do not know what stone. It's kind of orange and red and yellow. It's really pretty. And you can see all the little veinings in it. And this I thought was amber. Because it looks like amber. But I don't think the black light made it glow. Let me see. No. Nope. It just shines purple from the light. But it looks like amber. It's a very good fake. And it feels like amber. With the black beads. I mean, I guess it still could be amber. Maybe it just did it wrong with the test. But I've seen amber glow before. And this doesn't glow at all. But. It looks like amber. A lot. I mean, I, I think it would fool somebody. <laughs> Fools me. No. <laughs> I didn't buy it for that. It was in one of my jars. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you guys for joining me, and I'll talk to you. Wait. Sorry, not yet. I have some broken bracelets. I'm de determining whether or not I should fix them. Like this one. Should I restring it? I don't know. And this one. I don't think I'll restring this one. But isn't it pretty? I don't know what to do with it. And there's this one that came in the kit. For making. It's like a photo album. On your wrist. Photo, photo, photo. I was thinking about making that. I would love to redo this one. Because I like, I like the wooden clasp. I mean, yeah, clasp. I've never... Had one. This is the only one I've ever gotten. But the, this is a lot of work. To restring all those. Because you can see that they're. I don't know if you can see it. They're hanging. Wrong. Doesn't doesn't work good as a bracelet. Watch it break. Because I'm putting it on without opening it. <laughs> see. Some of them hang too long. Yeah. And we have this one. Which I think is missing something, right? No. Why was this in there? Needs to be redone. Maybe we'll put these in craft for somebody else to redo. This flower one needs to be redone. Could that be... Could that be Big Light? Did Big Light make... Roses? No, I think that's a seam. I'll have these crystals. 
for crafting. Those I might keep to make something out of. I don't know about this. No, yeah, I'll put it in craft. Oh, this one's pretty. But again, it needs to be restrung. Yeah, craft. I'm not going to do it. Although I did just buy the stuff to do it. <laughs> so it sounds kind of stupid though. I'm not re redoing it. There's another broken one. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll work on some. Yeah, like, this one is pretty. I think I'll do this one. And I'm going to keep the crystals. Um, the roses... Not so much. Maybe this one. That one's kind of pretty. Yeah, maybe I'll do that one. I'm going to do something else with those beads. And I'll put this one in craft. So those two go in craft. And this one... I'm going to see how, how it looks when it's finished. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Thank you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.